of snow than the birds in the tree.
bell break, let it come down crashing. Let the sun fade out to a dark sky. I can't say I'd even notice it was absent. Cause I can live by the light in your eyes. And my whole heart will be yours forever. This is a beautiful start to a lifelong love letter. Tell the world that we finally got it all right. I choose you. Become mine. I choose you. I choose you. Beloved guests, family, and friends, it is my joy to welcome you all this afternoon as witnesses to this sacred act of matrimony. We are gathered here today in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to witness the joining together of Zach and Jenna in holy matrimony. We are here today to surround Zach and Jenna with our prayers and to ask God's blessing upon them that they may be strengthened for their new life together and nurtured in their love for God. And so with this intent in mind, I will invite you all to join me this afternoon as we begin our time together in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, you are always faithful in your love for us. Look mercifully upon Zach and Jenna today, for they have come before you seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love, they may honor the promises they will make this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may all be seated. Zach and Jenna, understanding that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant today? We do. Good. <laughs> Rodney and Sharon, do you give your blessing to Zach and Jenna and promise to do everything in your power to uphold them in their marriage? If so, say we do. We do. We do. Who gives this bride to be wed today in holy matrimony? Mm -hmm. Zach, you may take your bride. The scripture text to be read this afternoon is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. The reading will be read by Kelsey Tovmasian. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So Zach and Jenna asked me to pick the scripture text to be read this afternoon at their wedding. They asked me to pick a text that would both invite the congregation into the presence of God and also a text that would serve as an encouragement for the two of them as they begin this life journey together. I'm not going to lie, 
It's a little intimidating to pick the text <laughs> for your wedding, Jenna and Zach. It's a dangerous thing as well to let the reverend pick your wedding text. Uh, it demonstrates a lot of trust and faith in me, and I don't know what I did to earn such trust, but here we are today, uh, and I hope you like the selection. The passage that we just heard is not typically read at weddings, and it's quite the shame, in my opinion, that it's not. I can't think of a more fitting text to start the two of you off on this adventure of marriage than the one we just had read for us. Paul is offering us a vision of Christian community and Christian living that changes everything. It's a vision in which the people who have met the mercy of God in Jesus learn to offer up their whole lives to him in an ongoing act of dynamic worship. And precisely because they've given themselves over to God in thanks and in gratitude, they learn to give themselves over in love to their neighbor because they recognize in their neighbor the gift of God right before their very eyes. Paul believes that it is in this life of dynamic worship that God works on us, that he makes his impression on us, and makes us truly human. All of life becomes the space into which God is inviting us to worship. We usually think of worship as the thing that happens on Sunday mornings from around 11 to 12 p.m., in the comfortable air-conditioned walls of the church, but not for Paul. For Paul, because he has met the resurrected Jesus, because he knows and experiences the grace of God in him, every moment presents him and therefore presents all of us with the opportunity and occasion to lose ourselves in the unfathomable grace of God, the very grace that commissions us to love one another. So Zach and Jenna, I want to present you today with a simple challenge. It's deceptively simple, just one sentence, and yet it will take a life journey together to fully embrace and experience. Zach and Jenna, learn together to lose yourselves in the unfathomable grace of our God. Let your marriage be an occasion for worship. Let it be a sacred space in which you meet with God and in which God meets you. A space in which God is shaping and forming both of you over time. Get totally lost together as you explore the compassion and love that God has lavished upon you. Learn to praise God for the gift that he has given you in one another. In seasons of deep anguish and pain and loss, Learn as a couple, together, as one, to cry out in solidarity with the crucified Christ who weeps and cries at the dark, broken pain of the world. And in seasons of joy and happiness, when you're anticipating great things on the horizon, like this day today, learn to celebrate together with the Messiah who turns our water into the joyous wine of the kingdom. And in seasons of confusion and disorientation and when you feel lost and misguided and can't see two feet ahead of you, learn to walk together by faith in the way of the Good Shepherd, who is for us the way and the truth and the life. Worship, Zach and Jenna, worship together. Offer up your bodies as a living thanksgiving sacrifice to God and explore together how wide and how long how high and how deep is the love of God in Christ Jesus our King. Find yourselves as you serve one another and lose yourselves as you dive into the unfathomable grace of God in Jesus Christ. God bless you and let's pray for you this morning. Eternal God, without your grace, no promise is sure. Strengthen Zach and Jenna with patience, kindness, gentleness, and all the other gifts of your spirit, so that they may fulfill the vows they are about to make as they join in with all creation, thanking you for the gift that you have given them in one another. Shape them into the character of your Son, Jesus Christ, that they may together be a living sacrifice unto you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Zach and Jenna, since it is your intention to marry today, 
Would you please join hands together and with your promises, bind yourselves to each as husband and wife. Isaac, take you, Jenna. Isaac, take you, Jenna. To, to be, be my, my wife. wife. To be my wife. I promise before God and these witnesses. I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Fantastic. Jenna? Yes. Would you repeat after me? I, Jenna, take you, Zach. I, Jenna, take you, Zach. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise before God and these witnesses. I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we shall both live. And do you bring rings this afternoon as a sign of your promise? We did. We did. <laughs> we did. I hope we did. Zach, would you place the ring on Jenna's finger and repeat after me? This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jenna. Would you please place the ring on Zach's finger and repeat after me? This ring I give you. This ring I give you. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. By your blessing, O God, may these rings be to Zach and Jenna symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As a visible expression of the deep spiritual oneness that Zach and Jenna are now embarking upon, they're going to mix these two separate sands together. The two of them will become one, and their individual lives made up of their separate stories and experiences and encounters with one another and God will now be made united. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and redeemed, and especially today upon Zach and Jenna. Give them wisdom and devotion in their common life together, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, 
a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this broken and sinful world, that unity may overcome estrangement, that forgiveness may heal guilt, and that joy may conquer despair. Give them joy in their mutual love and service for one another, such that they would reach out in love and service to those near them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So at this point, I'm going to invite us all to recite together the Higher Mare. The Higher Mare is the Lord's Prayer in Armenian. We will recite it, not sing it. Um, and for those of you who don't speak Armenian, you're more than welcome to recite the Lord's Prayer with us in English. It'll be a beautiful cacophony of language, <laughs> and it'll sound beautiful to God, I'm sure. So would you join us, those of you who can recite the Higher Mare along with me? Higher Mare, Vor yes. Sur pieritsian unko, yeretse arkaiutunko, yeritsin gamko, vorbes herginus yev hergri, us hats mer hanabazort, durmez aisor, tohmez us bardis mer vorbes yev mek, tohunk merots bardabanats, yev mi danir, smezi portsutun, al purgia ichare. Zikora Kayotun, Yev Zorotun, Yev Park, Havdianus, Havedinitz. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, here now and forevermore. Amen. Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Zach and Jenna have made their solemn vows to one another. They have confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, by the authority vested in me, I proclaim Mr. and Mrs. Zach and Jenna Black to be husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Zach. I know you've been practicing this all morning. <laughs> Take your bride with a kiss. I've been a walking heartache. I've made a mess of me. The person that I've been lately ain't who I want to be, but you stay here right beside me and watch as the storm blows through and I need you.
God gave me you for the days of doubt.